Happy Halloween! I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far.、Um, I'm about to go to a birthday kind of Halloween party, hence why I'm all dressed up here like a Peaky Blinder. But anyway, I'm gonna go.、Uh, these are your rapid readings. Okay, going over the next three months for you guys. So from October to January 2025. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Have an amazing day. Let me know how you're spending it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello, Capricorn. How are you guys doing? So let's dive into your rapid reading. Uh, I'll try to be quick. You can slow me down if you need to. YouTube has those settings now. But anyway, let's dive into it. So over here we have November, December, and January. And on these sides over here, I pulled out some random messages、um, of other things that might be also happening around the next three months for you. Okay, they don't have time frames, so I'll kind of point them out wherever I see them、um, come up during the reading as well. Because sometimes they do align with the cards. But anyway. Starting off with November, you have serendipity over here, which is all about a lucky opportunity coming into your path within the month of November. So that seems amazing. You also have the Four of Wands, which is all about celebration and achievement and reaching a milestone or reaching a goal. It could even be you and somebody else coming together. So that looks really, really nice. If you are in a relationship, and this is what you're kind of resonating with. This feels like the Tower, a solid foundation, success with effort. So maybe you guys are passing a milestone together, celebrating an anniversary of any kind, or maybe. Be getting engaged, or just having a lot of celebration and joy、um, and partnership at this time. You do have the Seven of Swords, though, and by the way, Four of Wands can also be your career. Okay, so you are just reaching a milestone in your life at this time, which just feels really amazing, and it does feel like it's to do with the serendipity. Seven of Swords is here, which is an interesting one because sometimes it can be about deceit and betrayal. Just be aware of that for some of you, if you are dealing with someone and have some suspicions, then that could be going on, or it could be you. I don't know,、uh, but I'm not picking up heavily on that. The Seven of Swords can sometimes be about building a strategy. Sometimes it's also about going against what you know. You should be doing in some endeavor because it seems to be looking at the Queen of Wands. But some of you could be going against, you know,、uh, your own kind of confidence within yourself, or maybe going against management in a in a way because Queen of Wands can sometimes be that. So. Just be aware. This the Seven of Swords feels like it's to do with this dragon that we have down here, which says be aware of self delusion. Cutting corners won't do it. All right.、Um, and if there's anything, I don't know exactly if this is good or bad. I just didn't like to see it. To be fair, so I'm gonna say for most of you, just make sure that you're not kind of going against what you know you should be doing. All right, especially with the Queen of Wands, it's almost like having integrity, having confidence in yourself, and not kind of going back to your comfort zone.、Um, Here, especially when the serendipity card comes through, it's almost like you have what it takes to take an opportunity. But if you doubt yourself and your abilities, you might go, "Ah,、eh, no, maybe, maybe not now." And you might convince yourself that maybe this、uh, opportunity will come around another time. But if you know deep down that what's coming through in the month of November is really good for you, you're really being called to go for it. All right, to have some confidence to. Look at the positive side and not the negatives. Okay, because some of you are talking yourself out of situations here. And I'm hearing as well with this,、um, uh, no decision is still sorry making yeah no decision is still a decision. So for some of you, might feel like because the two of swords here is usually about decisions. It feels like you're taking the five and leaving the decision to somebody else, or you know just saying oh I'll make this decision later or another time and never really getting back to it. So for some of you, again, really emphasizing the fact that. No decision is still a decision. Don't convince yourself out of something that might need you to grab hold of it. Okay, in whatever way, shape, or form that is for you guys, just be aware of self sabotaging. But either way, Queen of Wands is all about your confidence and your charisma. You know, charisma all shining out. Queen of Wands can sometimes also be about your image. All right, your beauty inside and out. So for a lot of you, this is really a month of where you are shining out. You are really getting a lot of attention, a lot of recognition, even if it's in your career.、Um, Again, don't play small in November. That's really something I want to say. You actually have getting together with friends. Of course, it's holiday season, so that could be going on in December. But because you have the Four of Wands here, which and also in、uh, January too,、um, the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups do represent like social events to me, like having fun with people, celebrating something here. So、uh, in January and November, you could definitely be having a lot of fun times with friends here. Now you do have good fortune over here as well, and new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. That feels like it's happening in、uh, November as well. So a big month again. Don't play it small. Don't don't go against yourself here and your own confidence and your skills. Queen of Wands has so many skills. She's got great ideas. All right.、Um, I just feel like for some of you, you might be in a room full of people who you know you might have some imposter syndrome, but don't second guess your abilities. Okay, you are amazing. You might be unique in a way, or you might feel like the odd one out.、Um, 
I don't know what that means, but the Queen of Wands, I'm seeing her in like a conference room with, uh, you know, this is nothing to do with gender, but it's almost like what I'm seeing is like she's in a conference room full of male energy, right? And it's almost like she's the odd one out, yet she's still so powerful. And if she asserts herself um, as her authentic self, like it feels like she can stand out, um, even though she feels like she could be suppressed. Like just a really random thing. It doesn't have to be in your way, but it feels like you are the like very unique person in something and it just feels like you're being called to not play it small hoping people don't see that you're different or hoping that you know I don't know it's like don't don't do that stand out like if feel like you need to put yourself out there all right my angels so that's something I will say with that like you're having an opportunity here to maybe speak up or shine bright they're saying to go for it because it's gonna open up new opportunities all right don't let your mind play tricks on you as well with that okay you do have spare which says heartache over what you no longer have and I mean sometimes that does happen during holiday season you know what we do reflect on you know past loved ones who are not here with us anymore or maybe the potential of what this year could have been let's not do that in the month of december you do the five of pentacles and four of swords now there's a few warning messages that i got from this not to, it's nothing to scare anybody by the way five of pentacles um it's snowing here and uh, i heard that christmas song which makes sense because it's december you know Oh, how the weather outside is frightful, whatever it is. <laughs> and it just feels like maybe there's a weather warning coming up. I don't usually ever pick up on stuff like that, but lately I've been channeling in stuff during these Halloween spreads. So pay attention to weather. All right, make sure that you plan things in advance. Okay, because there could be a little bit of delay or again, feeling uh, maybe something gets like blocked or something. So let's just hope that nothing happens like that. Four of Swords also was like, pay attention to your health too. Let's not spend too much time outside. And also a really good time to have your ginger shots capricorns okay i'm a really big um person on ginger shots during when the seasons change especially when it gets colder um unless you're australian then it's your your summer right <laughs> but anyway four of just pay attention to your health is something that's important but the four of about healing okay so that could be a good sign for some of you as well but you know you could be healing from heartache at this time now you do have the nine of cups which represents wish fulfillment happiness personal fulfillment as well all coming through um in the month of uh December so that's a good sign there is something there is good fortune coming through for you in the month of December you could be worried about your financial situation the five of pentacles comes in when there's a bit of scarcity or lack or loss okay so that's something that you could be healing from or worried about but the nine of cups tells me everything will be fine and also you have the fates here let me just swallow and breathe <sighs> right the fates comes in where things feel fated so maybe even though you have these worries and stress you're still trying to you know push past despite these obstacles that you have but the nine of cups tells me that at the end of the day um in december you're going to feel very looked after by the universe okay it does feel like luck is on your side not only in no november but december too okay so it does feel like you're going to get some wish fulfillment so whether that be an increase in your finances or healing something or getting over some sort of uh illness here or cold or flu whatever it is um i just see that that is a positive outcome within that time you are going to have a lot of fun within the month of december all right if, as long as we feeling looked after and that fated things are happening which they will be i feel like that's what's going on for you guys now you also have breathe coming in in january if i can show you guys sorry like i'm like really this microphone picks up on a lot of sounds <laughs> because of the settings i have it on so i'm sorry if you can just hear me like gulping now breathe in january i feel like you guys are getting into new habits i mean it is you know new year new me in january so for a lot of you i actually feel like you could be diving into meditation a bit more or mindfulness like it does feel quite spiritual i always say that this is my pisces card so maybe opening up your um intuition you know things like that now breathe is all about your breath could even be breath work as well some of you could also be looking at retreats in the month of january as well as what i'm picking up on too um some of you if you do struggle with headaches uh, you might need to look at that or get some like advice about it as well especially if it's like chronic or whatever um anyway now breathe always comes in as like okay let's slow down so that's what's going on in january especially with the three of cups you're being called to celebrate the small wins you'll be surprised at how um often we there's a phrase that tony robbins says and they're trying to bring it into the sentence and it's something like we overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in 10 years so for a lot of you it's about slowing down celebrating the small wins in january and instead of having all these crazy goals for january for the rest 
rest of 2025 try to like um i'm hearing to split it up to dice it up a little bit whatever they mean by that um because a wheel of fortune is about divine timing it's also about your luck changing in in january so whatever you're doing i do feel like it's new things it feels really really good strength is also about your courage and confidence which is amazing coming through kind of in this line it does really feel like you're going to really start to believe in your power within the month of january and really feed into it a little bit more as well um which feels quite nice because it's the it's the lion and the maiden and in fact she's the maiden and there's some lions behind her too so it really feels like you're backed up by strength by courage all right by fearlessness um so that feels quite nice Anyway, what was I saying about this? The breathe card comes in when it's uh, kind of telling you not to focus on everyone else, but to focus on yourself at times. Because if you are an empath and if you do worry about what everyone else is doing, it can cause a lot of instability in your life. So in order to create stability moving forward, Capricorn, they're really calling you to really focus on the self, focus on this present moment, focus on the small wins and the gratitude that you have as well. Now, also uh, January, just to close out, January, the Three of Cups also represents celebration community um as well coming through as well so there is some celebration that you will be um celebrating i guess in the in the month of january too with the fortune luck and fortune changing especially with seven of swords four of swords if you have been through deceit and deception and secrets and lies you are going to be healing from that and you know something has really changed from it i feel like you've definitely learned a lesson about you know trustworthy or untrustworthy people and wheel of fortune in, coming into the new year says that it does feel like you're going to get some sort of like um overdue karma is what i'm hearing in a good way okay all right my angels but anyway this is just representing really really good things for the next year all right my angels so i'm gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for being here with me i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one